In this video, we will learn how to use backend events to change how products are indexed in the Algolia extension for Magento 2. More precisely, we will prevent products from the bag category to appear in the search results. By knowing how to work with backend events, you will be able to fine-tune the indexing of your catalog. All the code used here can be found in the video description. When programming in Magento, it's not recommended to write code directly in the original files, because all the modifications will be lost during an update. Instead, we should use Custom Algolia. It's a Magento extension that was specifically made to easily edit the Algolia extension. Here's how to install it. Open a terminal and move to your Magento directory. Type this to install the extension with Composer, and this to set it up. Now, if we navigate to Magento, Vendor, Algolia, we see the two extensions, Algolia and Custom Algolia. By default, all the Magento catalog is indexed by Algolia. If we want to exclude some products, we need a way to get our hands on the items from the catalog and filter them before they are sent to indexing. We will achieve that thanks to backend events. Those are all the events fired by the Algolia extension that will let us run code at very precise moments. This list is available in the documentation. The link is in the video description. Leveraging backend events will take place in two main steps, creating an observer and registering it. To create an observer, we move to Custom Algolia, Observer. There, we add a new PHP file that we call Manage Products Indexing. Inside this file, we add the necessary namespaces and a new class. In the execute function, we retrieve the product collection in the collection variable. Then, if we want to exclude all items that are in the category bag, we apply a filter to only keep products with a category ID that is not equal to 4. To find the ID, go to Catalog, Categories, click on a category, and look at the top left corner of the page. Next, we need to register the observer we just created, otherwise it will be ignored by Magento. For that, open the file Custom Algolia, etc, events.xml. We already see a few observers here. Let's add a new one like this. Now, we just have to fill the blanks. The event name can be found by reading the documentation. In our case, we want to change how products are indexed, so we use Algolia after products collection build. The observer's name just has to be unique. For example, custom Algolia products index manager. The instance is the full name of the class we just created. And we are finished with the coding part. There are only two things left. First, clear the Magento cache by opening the admin, then going to System, Cache Management, and clicking on the Flush Magento Cache button. And finally, open a terminal and type this. It will remove from your Algolia index the products we don't want, in this case, all bags. Now, if we check our Magento store and search for bag, we get no results as expected. In this video, we've coded a small tweak to exclude some products from being indexed. This small changes goal was to illustrate how backend events work, but you can perform more complex modifications by following the same steps. As a final note, keep in mind that the Algolia extension for Magento 2 is open source. So feel free to check it out on GitHub and contribute if you see ways to improve it. The link is in the video description.